guys, and welcome back to another lip, uh, I almost said lipstick, lip balm review. This one is for a very special chapstick. This is the Black Cherry Chapstick Moisturizer with SPF 15. This is different from the normal cherry chapstick that everyone knows about, that Katy Perry sang about, that, you know, this is not that one. This is a separate one that for the longest time was exclusive to, um, I forget if it was Dollar General or Dollar Tree or where it was, but that was like the only place you could find these, really. I found it online, finally. After, like, close to two years of looking for this stupid thing, I finally found it! It expires next April, but I mean, hey, I don't even care, because I'm just so happy to have it. Period. And, you know, you can keep using them, because, I mean, it's synthetic, so the expiration date is just referring to the SPF, so as long as you're not wearing it for sun protection, you're golden. So, format-wise, it is a stick, obvi. Uh, the wax color is actually a lot darker than you might have anticipated, but I'm very pleased with that. I'm not sure if it's going to leave any color payoff or not. We're going to find out. Uh, the packaging is quite similar to that of the normal cherry, but it has a pink background on the decal on the cap, and it is black cherry instead of just cherry. It has SPF, so it is a little different. Not identical. It's similar. Not identical, though. Uh, price point on this, I don't know what it was in most stores, I guess about a buck. I think I paid a buck ninety-nine for it online, so that's not too bad. Uh, Size-wise, it's, let's see, 0.15 ounces, same as all just normal plain chapsticks. I would say all chapsticks, but I mean, then there's like the total hydration collection and shit that throws that number off, but I mean, of normal! Standard, run-of-the-mill, regular chapsticks. This is the amount. Uh, it is synthetic. It is petrol item based so if that's not in your bag, then, you know, you do you. But I use both organics and synthetics. I like to switch them up. But, uh, it's not part of a set or anything. This was a one-off. I used to make more moisturizer chapsticks than they currently do. I think probably because of the Total Hydration Collection, there's not as much of a call for the regular ones now. But I'm glad that they do still have some uh, that are just more budget-friendly and more just normal run-of-the-mill for if you don't want to splurge on the others. Um, I don't know if this is limited edition or not. Like I said, this one is really hard to track down, so I'm not sure the state of it. <laughs> but, um not medicated, but again, it does have SPF 15 in there. So it's broad spectrum SPF 15, so I think that's UVA A and B, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that is it for special features. So let's see about the scent. Roll this guy up. Yeah, that definitely does smell different. Ooh, I like it more, actually. There's a bit of tartness to it that's not in the normal cherry one. But also, it may be my imagination, but I feel like I get the tiniest hint of cinnamon here. Could just be the color of my brain really wants it to be cinnamon, but... But I feel like I get a little bit of cinnamon in with that dark cherry, so I'm like, ooh, I can tell I'm gonna like this one. I don't think there's any real color payoff, really. That's okay. Normal chapstick's not really supposed to be tinted anyway. If there's any, it's just luck. But, um, there might be the tiniest, tiniest flush of color, but I don't think there's much going on. Let's see. And I'm really taking it out, and I'm not seeing color, so that's okay. Not a deal breaker. I just assume because it's so dark of wax that there might be, but that's alright. Ooh. Okay. So. Cap that guy. Thickness-wise, it's kind of medium. It is a little sticky, to be fair. Um, it honestly feels more like the normal, regular chapstick formula than the moisturizer formula that 
I used to be acquainted with with the vanilla mint that they discontinued and apparently recently brought back, but I don't know where to find in its newer form. It's the one in the white tube, not the blue one. The blue one's the old one, but I'm very interested in trying to track down the white one. But anyway, because uh, I want to see if it's any different. But it doesn't feel bad, though. It's just a little bit sticky. It's very waxy, but it's also creamy. But that said, it does feel more like the type that's going to more just sit on your lips and actively hydrate. So there is that. Um, but that's all right. Sometimes that's called for too. Uh, for how many of them lately I've used that actually do the hydration thing, right now this is not bad to me to have one that just seals out windburn and such. So that's okay by me. This is why I say it really pays off to work in tandem with both synthetics and organics because you can do the whole range that way, depending on your needs at any given time. But, let's see. There is a little bit of flavor. It tastes good. I like it. But yeah, so, it's not really shiny or anything, so I feel like this could be gotten away with as a unisex lip balm, which is also good. Um... Like I said, it doesn't really look like it tinted, and that was with really caking it on. For, like, a single swipe, like most normal people would wear it, yeah, there's probably, like, absolutely no color. Uh, so don't be alarmed <laughs> or anything if you're a guy watching this. But, okay, let's do the drink test with my coffee. Yeah, I don't even see any pink on the side of the cup, and it's like a white mug, so. Okay. Unfortunately, I think it just failed the drink test, though, because it feels like it went right through. So that kind of sucks, but, um, I don't know if I would say I'd necessarily give this one wow factor. I'm a little underwhelmed for how long I've been searching for this one. If I had found this one easily, I'd probably give it to it, but it's like for how long I've waited to get my hands on this one, for it to just underperform a bit, in my opinion, I'm like, damn it. I'm a little disappointed. I still like it. I'm still definitely using it, but it doesn't quite live up to the hype I think my brain built around it for searching for this thing for like two years, but oh well, what can you do, right? Um, or actually, I guess maybe one year. Maybe it was last year it came out. I don't remember for sure. <laughs> one or two. It was something like that. However long it's been, it feels like it's been forever trying to track it down. There you go. So, what would I read it? Um, hmm. So, the fact that it failed the drink test, didn't get the wow factor... Plus, it doesn't really feel like it hydrates, despite being labeled a moisturizer. Those are all points against it. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7 out of 10, which is still above average. Um, I still do recommend it. I still think it's nice. I just, like I said, I kind of built it up to legendary status in my head. Uh when I probably shouldn't have and let myself down a little, but it's it's still good. You'll probably still like it just fine. So anyways, that is it for this one from me. So you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So, anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.